With all of the summer picnics and potlucks you're gonna be going to this summer, you're gonna need to come up with the perfect side dish. How about some artichoke dip? Erica Schlick from The Trail to Health shows us how to make this delicious appetizer. Take a look. Spinach and artichoke dip is such a simple and delicious appetizer, but oftentimes it can be filled with ingredients that aren't so great for you. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a paleo or a vegan version, whatever you choose. And this is going to be a delicious and simple way to make an easy appetizer or a perfect game day recipe. So we're going to start by mixing in our wet ingredients. And so I have one eight ounce con container of cashew cheese, and this is a non-dairy cheese that has a little bit of a cultured flavor. And it's got some herbs and dill in it, so it's absolutely delicious. And and I've got some mayo here, and depending on which version you choose, you can either use a vegan mayo or paleo mayo. So we're gonna go ahead and add that in. And then we're gonna add in some of our seasoning. So I have one teaspoon of lemon juice, I have some garlic powder, I have some onion powder, and of course some sea salt. And we're just gonna go ahead and use either our spatula or you can use a fork and you can start to get this all combined here. You don't need to worry about over mixing it just yet because we're gonna be adding in a few more ingredients. And now the next one, you can add in some nutritional yeast if you wanna use that. If you do indulge in a little bit of dairy, it's not quite paleo and vegan, but you can always use some Parmesan cheese if you don't wanna use nutritional yeast. We'll go ahead and get this mixed together here. And next, I've got my artichokes. And I've gone ahead and chopped these. This is one can of artichokes, and I've chopped these with my food processor into more of a bite-sized kind of size. And we'll go ahead and get that mixed in here. And it's so easy. This comes together so simply. It's such a simple ingredient to add in. And last but not least, of course, we have our spinach. So this is about four cups of chopped baby spinach. And I don't cook it just yet. I like to use it fresh, and then we're just gonna go ahead and get this mixed in here. This obviously takes a little bit longer to mix in since the leaves can be a little fluffy. And that is about it. We're gonna get this combined, and then we're gonna go ahead and put this into a cast iron skillet that I have prepared here. And I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees. And once we get this mixed together, I wanna get that fully combined there. We'll go ahead and pour this into our cast iron and bake it for about 20 minutes and that's it. It is so simple, put it into one little pan, comes out, you can serve it in the cast iron. It's so easy and delicious. So go ahead and get this poured in here and get this popped into our oven. And our dip is now out of the oven and I cooked it for 20 minutes and I ended up putting it on broil just for a couple minutes just to get the top nice and crispy. And that's it. I love to serve it in a little cast iron dish. I think it's super cute. And as far as things to dip into it, I love to do some fresh celery, some carrot sticks, to keep it really light and healthy. You can also do some grain free tortilla chips as well. Both of those pair perfectly with the nice saltiness, the nice crunch with the creamy deliciousness of the dip. So I hope you enjoy this recipe. You can get the recipe on my website website, thetrailtohealth.com, and you can find other healthy and delicious recipes in my cookbook, Wandering Palette, which is available on my website and Amazon as well.